What's up, YouTube? Hey, it's me, Big Moe, and it's Friday, November the 23rd, and that only means one thing. It's time to go to Wasness Camp, baby. As you can see, I'm behind the wheel of the truck. I just got my truck back this morning. I was in the shop getting all new plugs and stuff putting on. I got it all loaded up, and I am ready to go do some damn buck hunting. I just want to throw it out there that I'm not going to be recording while I'm driving up to the camp for my safety and everybody else's safety because I haven't been able to drive since July 8th. So... I think it's a pretty good wise idea not to do any film until I get there. So as of right now, all I can tell you, I'll see you at Wasness Camp. camp and I just got the truck everything unloaded everything's getting in here it's starting to warm up we're up to about 42 degrees from 28 so yeah when I got here it was pretty cold so it take a little bit to get her heated up but uh, make a few phone calls let Tiger know I made it let Vince know I made it up let Eddie Duncan know I made it up he's gonna come up on Sunday and uh, I'm expecting a good year we had a lot of nice bucks this year uh, Vince has been getting a lot on camera, even though Leslie did get the nine nine point. But uh, there's still plenty of other bucks in the area, and uh, I got to sit here and pretty much let the camp heat up so I can set the heaters, so we get a good steady temperature. So I probably ain't gonna get into much here within the next hour or so. So I think I'm just gonna go hunting right here in my living room. I'm gonna turn the camera and aim it out the window, and if one comes through the yard, you'll get to see it. So let's see what happens. warms up tomorrow. I took the fucking wires off of this stupid fucking furnace thing. I should have took a picture of it first, and I didn't. I think it's comfy. And I fucking, I stupidly didn't. 
I put all the wires where I thought they went, but one of them can't be connected because when I turn it on the heater, it, it won't even fucking turn on. It doesn't ignite. It won't, it won't even do shit. Right, right. Who's taking them again? So one of the wires got to be yeah. out there. Woo! Drinking? Am I drinking? Glad to see you made it, man. I didn't even know you had a fucking wreck till we went to the fucking family reunion. I was like, what? Huh? My man! It was 27 when I came in there fucking a couple hours ago. Like, Holy fuck. <laughs> you should have. Swung down the pause plate. So you chip right down four wheeler off of there. It's always unlocked. Oh, yeah, it's always on its way around. Yeah, you can win in. You know that. Oh. Fuck, you can stay down here if you want tonight. Fuck yeah. This way here you. You know, if you let your shit go until tomorrow, it'd be good and warm in here by tomorrow then. It ain't bad in here right now, shit. Now, that's a nice refrigerator there. Yeah. Full size. Yeah. Oh, man. What's up with the fucking bears? You see ain't nothing. You fucking see a goddamn bear. We had them up here. Yeah, they, well, they killed the... Here, I, I stopped. I'm, I'm good. They stopped down there at the uh, game, uh, at the uh, check-in station there. There are three killed here in Victory Township when I was down there, so oh, yeah. they killed some here. Huh. The biggest one was like 230. 230. Yeah. Sissy bear. Uh, that's a pretty big bear. If you look at a 230 one, that's a pretty good sized bear. You got a fucking Get a picture up top. Last year's. Woo! Yeah, we's grizzly looking. <laughs> Where's your sidekick at yet? It's not coming. He says it's still Sunday. Holy Christ! Is he working every day still? Well, what the fuck he's doing? I told him. I said you're coming up, and he said he was coming, but he he was going to be up on Friday or Sunday. I said, whatever you want to do, buddy. That's good looking, man. I like it. I forgot to put the fucking date on the thing. That's all right. We know what it was. Oh yeah, last year's their season. <laughs> 2014, 2017. Yeah. Good. I've seen a, uh, I've seen four shooter bucks back there, but nothing big. Just you know, all inside the year or right out the year. Nothing. Nothing to write home about. But they were bucks. Yeah, it's funny. I sat in here, never fucking set up people. I had that blind opened up the whole way. I had this tripod in front of the window with the video camera on. And I was going to wait for deer. I had all lights off. I was just waiting for deer to come out. Nothing come out. I sat here, fucked around, fucked around. I fell asleep in the chair for like a brief second. I said, I only heat up some turkey or something. I just fucking stood up my phone around and was young. I said, what the fuck is you up to that? <laughs> I was trying to call you down at the bottom of the hill, wouldn't go through. And we come up a little bit and then ring, ring. That's just having that big bash tomorrow. I think it starts at 5 o'clock. My wife's coming up. Got a nice place over here. She said, well, if you're going to be alone, she said, I'm coming up. I said, well, then I won't be alone. She said, no, she said, I'm coming up. <laughs> I said, you're coming up to fucking drink, that's all you come up to. You fucking bullshit me. Shit, you're never alone. People appear everywhere. I told her, it's the worst case scenario. That's I cannot believe Nemus didn't come though, I really can't. The new star of Big Mo's hunting, fishing, and camping. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. I got five days to hang you from the meat pole, motherfucker. I'll get you. I will get you. I got a fucking mouse drinking bush beer. Only on Big Mo's hunting, fishing, and camping. That's what his problem was. He's dying of thirst. Holy shit. You know, if we put a little tray out there full of beer and motherfucker get drunk, we just walk over and catch him. <laughs> he likes drinking beer. But he does. It's sweet. We got to call him Little Mouse Tiger. <laughs> little Tiger Look at Mouse. Him. He's drinking fucking beer.
bush beer. Even the mouse enjoy it. You gotta bait them in, Tiger. I mean, this is a lot of work to get this fucking mouse. Put it right on top of the mouse trap, and when he drinks the beer, whammo. Tiger finally caught this motherfucker. I don't know if I'll ever wear my belt again. <laughs> is he still alive or is he dead? He's still, He's still alive. alive. You're getting a hold of the side of the bag. Tiger, just fucking eat him. Uh, eat him? Yeah. Make a grilled cheese bowl. Hunting knife scenario, that's what we need. Stab him. You don't need to stab him. He's a mouse for God's sake. Just wrestle him to the ground, Tiger. You're letting him pin you. Oh, there he is. Did you get him? It doesn't take much to kill one of these fuckers. <laughs> he ain't dead yet, then. That's the toughest little bad. You got him so drunk, he don't even know what he's doing. Did you get him? Ow, your fucking belt buckle. <laughs> That's how he bit you. Is he dead or alive? I mean, you're really beating him out of his mouth. <laughs> For the love of God. Go dump him outside. I, I think he's dead. You think he's dead? If anything, we suffocated him, right? No. In no. the way he suffocated He's faking him. it. He's a big ass, <laughs> with a little ass mouth. No, I think he's fucking faking three it. three weeks to fucking suck that much air out of a bag. No, it wouldn't. Hell yeah, it would. That mouse lives a good fucking life on me. Do you think that fucking mouse lives? <laughs> Put the bush can. You like the bush? <laughs> you gotta be fucking dead. Oh, he's bloody now. He's my belt in there. He's bloody now. He's bloody now. He's bloody. Well, get that motherfucker out of there. He's bloody. I got the mouse so drunk. The tiger had to wrestle him. The tiger gets the belt. Alright, we got the belt. My deodorant's in there. We got the deodorant. Nothing on the deer. Right, beautiful. Nothing's on we the deer. We got the knife. What else we got? Got the knife. That's the quarter fucking bucks asshole out in the Got morning. the knife. And there's that little son of a bitch that caused all the problem. He was there such, he is. He was such a nice little Get a good look at him. Let me see. Can you see him in there? Here, shine it right through the bag. Yeah. There he is. Oh, let me flip it One mouse dead. My mouse is definitely dead, Tiger. <laughs> Monday morning, it's a buck. <laughs> bush. Even a mouse don't have a chance. You still, Tiger's bush, he'll kill you dead. <laughs>
every time I come up here, I mean, my dad used to take me to my Uncle John's camp when we was kids, and plenty of times we had open face turkey sandwiches for dinner, so it brings back a lot of memories, and uh, that's what hunting camps are all about, man, making memories and reliving old ones, so that's why I like being up here sometimes by myself. It just gives me a lot of time to think about my past and uh, brings back a lot of really good memories with the family deer camp. Well, unfortunately, the rain is really coming down here this morning. I got my camera on my tripod aiming out the window here. And then that way I keep all the lights off. And if I have any deer go through the yard, I can videotape them. But nothing seems to be on the move. And Tiger just gave me a call. And uh, I'll see you when Tiger gets here. Come on in, brother. What's up, bro? How you doing, buddy? What's going on? You remember Tiger? I do. You know, I can't get shit, bro. I ain't gonna get that, bro. You're gonna get fucking around your wet fucking feet. Huh? Good to see you. You can share it, and you do whatever you want. There's a couple of each in there, bro. Yeah, we. I think they spit in our shit. You only think because when you order 20, you know they're pissed off fucking making it. <laughs> you. <laughs> you know that shit. You want a drink? I got coke in the truck. Get some there you go. What is that? The Kellogg? Oh, that's the Kellogg. Yeah. Same thing as fucking yeah, bro. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. I got some in there. Me and Skip already drank a couple of them fireballs, a couple of rum chata, little bottles. Yeah, they put it in a good bottle anyway. It's just sometimes they do that. That's how you want one nip of that? Hell yeah. Nah, probably not. No? Oh, it's, it's like vanilla coke, man. Yeah, probably not. I'll stick to my bush, thanks. <laughs> you gotta just sit back for thanks. Like, no, man, there ain't nothing taken. How long are you standing there? Just still Monday. You gotta be at work Monday night. So we come up, do our thing. We was gonna come up like... <laughs> what a fucking shot there, brother. A fucking good shot. No! We got him boozed up last night. Good, get him boozed up again tonight. <laughs> Did you yeah, drive? They finally, well, it's kind of a, like a fucked up situation. The neurologist did those tests on me. So I called and I said, listen, I haven't been able to drive since fucking July. I said, the fucking rehab place is like a, two minutes from my house. I said, but it's just too far to walk for me. I said, just at least let me drive back and forth to there. So the girl says, I'll talk to the doctor. So the doctor gave the message. It was okay, but he didn't want me going far. And he said, but he'll, he'd will he approve that. So I didn't drive far. And make sure check with all the other doctors to make sure everything went okay. I said, Roger that. I hung up the phone. I told my wife, I said, I'm out of drive, man. Was... My one buddy Wes, he told me, he goes, there is no way the fucking doctor said you can drive. I said, they said I can drive? I said, I'm covered. I said, fuck it. That's what they said. That's what I'm listening to. See you. Bye. I said, well, we got a bear, big barrier in PA. It's 700 some fucking. Record. I seen one on Facebook. It was 800 some. It was a state record. 800. No fucking pause. Was this big around on it, man? What Just that? I, 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 uh, Poconos. I never uh, seen that. You think know, it's, we, it's bullshit? No. They not. shot an 800 pounder in the Poconos. It was, I was going to say it was like a tame something. bear or something. Uh, was it recently you saw that or just? It was on Facebook. I was scrolling through and somebody posted this, it. So I, this year? Yeah. It's probably the one from last year. I, I bet it's the same fucking Could be. Like 839 pounds. Fucking thing was big as fucking frying pan. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking paws was. Right. Here's the one Here's the one they, they just fucking got. 700 and some fucking pounds. Oh my god. Where's that at? Yeah, I heard they had a quarter of the motherfucker out. They couldn't. It was 10 guys and they couldn't move it. I bet you. And they had a quarter. You think how heavy a fucking, uh, you know, 200 pound deer is? Fucking small. Fucking yeah. Truck. Yeah, so, yeah, so that one, yeah. that one, me and him saw that one year. It was a year I had my ACL operation. Ooh. I'm telling you, I've still never seen a bear that big. It, it was every bit, bit of six, seven. I seen that picture on Facebook, and then my buddy Ronnie, he uh, well, at least it looks fucking legit. He, he put on Facebook that he was heading to his camp or something. So I just said, "Hey, good luck to you," and this, that, and the other. And this guy got on because Ronnie's a taxidermist, and uh, this guy got on there, and he, he said. He must have been sending it to Ronnie, but he went under my reply or something. So I ended up getting a message too or whatever. Or it came up on my thing and I looked and I said, I twist that. 
Yeah, go ahead. Just push it over. My leg's on fire. Well, I just threw a chair out because there was two here, and I, I said, I better put a chair yeah, out. That's cool. You know? Yeah, I appreciate it. Like I said, I didn't know if you was eight and fucking me. grind them up. Or you know, this morning, I was going to gonna make fucking breakfast, and then, of course, my wife has to talk to me for three hours to make sure I'm alive. And the tiger said, do you want to run down? He said, I'm going to get some coal. I said, you want to know, fuck it. Oh, yeah. Well, I sent you first text this morning. Did you get it? Which one? The one asked if he was all good up here. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that I was asking. I didn't hear from you. I was like, I, no, I was, call him. I was either on the phone with my wife or I was on the phone with Paul because he, I always check on him every day. He's got cancer, so I just check on him. How's your shoulder doing? It's not connected to nothing. But how's it feeling? Does it hurt? No, because it's not connected to nothing. Does it, did, did, did you shoot your gun? No. I brought my call while lead slide. I'm going to take, here's the deal. I'm shooting my fucking, I brought both rifles. Put them in the shot. Call while lead slide. I'm firing one shot through each one. Whatever one hits the closest to the dead fucking center, that's the one I'm fucking using. And I'm going to have so much clothes on, I'm hoping I'm just going to absorb the padding. Uh, I think you are. Because when I shoot, it's already, <coughs> it's right Put it low. It's right at the Put skin. it down here. It's it. I mean, it's right here. It's, it's the skin level. Put it down here. You want me down down lower on your fucking titty? Yeah, but I, I mean, I've shot down. I'd see my scope. I can't bend my fucking head that far. Yeah, you can. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Don't be scared. I'm fucking Don't shooting. be such a vagina your whole life. And here the fucking thing is, when I shoot the motherfucker, <laughs> I'm going to stick my hand in there, and if I pull, pull it out and it's all blood. She said something. I got a fucking that lever action at home. You could have barred. I told you could. Listen, you shot left if I shoot at a deer and I miss, and you see the deer dragging me out, there's a fucking brawl. That's <laughs> not I'm sitting there fucking drinking beer. <laughs> well, when I came in the camp, there was small shit in my fucking sink. So we're sitting there, we're just fucking drinking beer, bullshit, his brother Bill is here. I said, I just seen a fucking mouse. I said, where? He said, it was behind your fucking strainer. Well, there's a hole behind the strainer. And it made a hole behind the strainer, and it kept coming out, it was running over the stove. And he goes, that motherfucker must be fucking hungry. It's one of them eating the crumbs out of your stove. He would run back. Then it would run this way. And I would, what the fuck is that? And I start video camera. Tiger goes, here's a fucking mouse trap. We found a mouse trap. He said, what do you got to put on? And I said, I don't know. He goes, you got any peanut butter? I said, no, I don't Peanut butter, peanut cheese, butter. anything, yeah. He yeah. says, I'm going to put some beer on it. So he fills up a cat, pours beer on it. <laughs> this no, fucking first, mouse. First, we put the bush can over there. <laughs> this fucking mouse, dude, that was unbelievable. He was running over, getting a beer. Then he put a, had a can of a bush sitting here. A can, a full can. A fucking mouse ran over the bush can, stood up on a fucking beer can, got right on top and started fucking drinking the beer. <laughs> I said, how are we going to catch this thing? He said, let it get drunk, we'll catch it. <laughs> no shit. He caught it in a, it ran into a fucking bag. I had my belt, my deodorant in. It ran in the bag and he caught it. He goes, I got the mouse. He's sitting there flicking and killing it. It was unbelievable. We get it. If, if I didn't have a videotape, nobody would believe that we, story. We get him in my Nobody camp. would believe all, that all, story. All the fuck. 520, Saturday night. Normally I'm plowed, but I decided to stay sober. Or somewhat. Or it's somewhat. only 520. Yeah. By six but I tell you what. Maybe by six or seven, I'll have a buzz. Well, the wife just called, and uh, she's down at Vince's place with the other Leslie, and they're waiting for me and Tiger to get down there and drink some beer. So it's rained all day here. Not much happened, but we're going to go head over and have some drinks and party on. Party on, Tiger. I know every time you see me, you got a beer in my hand, but it's the same one. <laughs> well, at least music's playing. Oh, yeah. This must be Otis. <laughs> see what Otis has to say. Otis says he doesn't know Vince, nor where he lives. So, uh, we're going to text him back, tell him where he lives, and maybe he'll show up. Uh, I'm sitting out there by the Look. campfire. We built fires on 20 degrees. Drake Yeager, no Red Bull. Aw, oh, that's a great thing. Oh, does not look red that red. Look, Rudy. Let me tell you how Nobody else wants red. Okay. Everybody wants red. Okay. Shut up. Okay. 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 Okay.
Your Honor. Oh, on Moe's. Why do I have a regular Moe's Kevin Kerr. 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 God damn it. We need Kevin Kerr. 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 Kevin
him screaming, so. Me neither. He's I'm not right. mistaken. It's dead nuts. If I'm not mistaken. That's my pretty gun. No doubt about that. 22 is pretty sweet too. I always thought they made those just to hang over a mantle. You know what I mean? Fucking shooting mine. <laughs> you know what I mean? They say, they say that the Henry's are like top of the line, you know what I mean? Yeah. But the ones with all the brass and stuff it. on them. I thought with the, the, the 22s, people were buying them and they hanging them on the fireplaces. Oh, like probably. That. Oh yeah, that's good. It's like a beautiful gun. Thank you. This day and age, it's like they don't even make wooden, you know, scope I mean, or stocks. Yeah, and stocks. Everything's synthetic because you're walking through such thick shit. Well, that's that's nice for that style of hunting. But that sure does steady a fucking gun, goddammit. If you wanted to shoot free end, Bill, you know you can. No, I like, like it. it. That thing's a fucking cat's ass, dude. That fucking yeah. lead's lead. Mm -hmm. You can fucking zero that thing in. I had to go buy a new dish trainer. Couldn't stand the one with that mouse on it. It was kind of grubby looking. So I don't want nobody to say, boy, that's a dirty looking dish trainer you got, Mo. I replaced it. Well, it's going on about 2 o'clock and it's getting into about that lazy time of a Sunday afternoon. Steelers, I think, play at 4.30 today or something like that. And uh, I really don't have much planned. I got everything done. I, you know, Bill come over first thing this morning, and we ran over to the blind. We got my heater in there. We got it all ready, set up, and ready to go for me first thing in the morning. So that's going to be good. We sighted in the rifles. And to be truthful, I didn't even end up shooting the Marlin. Uh, I put the Remington on. I strapped her down. I squeezed off. And it shoots just as good as it always did. It's, it's been a really good gun to me. And, you know, I ended the season last year with the old Remington. I figured what the hell I'll bring in the season with it this year. So it's going out with me tomorrow. I made up my mind. We're going to take the Remington out. And uh, I'm hoping to get on partners with the camp on. Uh, my buddy Eddie, he texted me uh, Friday. It was the last time I heard from him. He said him and his girlfriend was coming today. But so far, I haven't gotten any texts and I haven't heard from him, so hopefully nothing happened and he does make it. But uh, if I don't hear from him pretty soon, I might jump on the quad and take a ride over Vince's. Because I really don't feel like drinking today, so I just want to stay a little, try to stay a little bit busy and do something because I don't want to, I don't want to nap too long and then, then I won't be able to sleep all night because, you know, just like everybody else, you guys are excited for deer season to come in. And uh, it's going to be tough enough to try to get some sleep tonight, let alone to take a nap and, and not be able to sleep. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get a hold of Eddie, call my wife real quick, bullshit with her a few minutes, and then I think I'm going to just jump on the quad and have it over at Vince's. So I'll see you over at Vince's. I need one. Accidents happen every day. Adventures.
we got about a half hour before dark. Let's we'll do a little bit of uh, pre-hunt here. See if any deer cut across the yard here this evening. I'll turn it back on if we see one. Well, unfortunately, I got the call. Eddie's not going to make it up this year. He said he just got too much shit going on. He's not going to make it. So I got a hold of Demas. I told him, I said, I'm up here by myself. You want to run up here? Come on up. And uh, he said, if there's room, he'd come. I said, there's absolutely there's room. I said, them guys ain't going to make it. I'm, I'm here alone. So he says he's coming. So it's all going to be good. Demas is on his way. We'll see him when he gets here. What do you want to do, brother? Glad you're fucking up here. Oh. I had to get a couple screws off Vince. The tiger fucked this up. Look at the the tiger. Every day. Oh. What happened? Oh, blew up. You put the can in there, did you?
Doubling day of hunting season. And poor could be in poor heaven. See this kibasi cooking on the stove. He said, they, yeah, that's what they have out, outside, right out there. What is John? Job time, John. He said, heck, once in a long time, he, he calls somebody, they pump it out, put new fucking fluid in it. Wouldn't be so bad if I wasn't trying to use such a big spatula in such a little pan. Well, but I managed to pull it off. It's 6 a.m. and it's pouring down rain. And I sure in hell ain't trying to go back to my blind and getting soaked, but I'll give it hell here for another half hour and see what the weather does. And I'll be heading back. 2018 Pennsylvania buck season in the pouring rain starts right now. What's going on about 9 o'clock? I heard a shot sound like it come down from over the hill. And I thought it was heavy D. I thought maybe he'd shot. But I texted him, he said it wasn't him. A few minutes later, I ended up getting a text from Tiger. He said that he got a six point down. And uh, after he must have went and looked at the deer, turns out it was a five point. He says he got three on one side, three up, and the other side only has two. So, congratulations, Tiger. I can't show you guys a picture of it right now because I don't have one. But uh, I'm sure at the end of the night, whenever we get done hunting, we'll be all going down Tiger's up and celebrate with it. So congratulations, Tiger. I'll see you when the hunt is done today, buddy. Well, it started raining again. It's going to rain like this off and on all day. But I wanted to give a shout out to my man, Jason. He worked with me over at Lindy Payment. He worked with the jackhammer truck with me all day long. Good kid. And uh, he sent me a picture. He got a buck with his bow. It's a pretty nice little buck. So congratulations on your buck. Jason, I want to share the picture with you guys now. Congratulations again. Plus he sent me a picture. His son, Devin, ended up shooting a buck with a rifle. I believe the gun season must be in. He got it here on Saturday. So I just want to say congratulations, Devin. Congratulations, Jason. Here's Devin Pitcher now.
congratulations again, buddy. That's awesome. Father and son getting some bucks. Making some memories, man. That's what hunting's all about, buddy. I'm going to get back to my hunt. Well, it's about 12 o'clock noon, and the rain seemed to have subsided. So hopefully the deer start to move, and we get it on. Well, we're getting into about the afternoon, and uh, it has literally rained here all day, nonstop. It has never stopped. We, we might have had it, a little break in the action for 15 minutes, but other than that, it has steadily just rained, and I don't believe these deer are moving. I did see one squirrel, or one shot that sounded even like it was in the area, basically, and I was tired. But, uh, you know, of course he got his deer, and that's awesome. But hopefully, they're saying that as the temperature drops, and it does feel like it's getting a little colder, maybe it'll turn into snow, so hopefully that's the case. Some of these deer move for the afternoon, and we get a chance to get in the deer, but uh, one of my subscribers, his name's Raymond Dixon, and uh, he sent me a picture of a buck that he killed over in Kentucky. I want to share that with you now. Congratulations on your buck, Raymond. I thought it was pretty cool that uh, I read your email and said about, you know, I'm the first person you ever decided to try even try to email on YouTube, but you can trust me, man. I'm a man of my word. I don't trade off your email address at these junk mail companies or something like that. You know, this this is just for, you know, paying forward, you know what I mean? You guys all tune into my videos, and I just want to be able to stick your pictures on my videos, and uh, everybody get to enjoy some of the kills, and that's my way of paying it back to all you guys for enjoying my stuff and commenting and stuff. So that's awesome you sent me that. And uh, I greatly appreciate it, and congratulations again, buddy. It's about quarter to four. We got a little over an hour left daylight, so the rain is done. Hopefully the deer move before dark. I'm not gonna turn this camera back on unless we see a deer. But uh, either we get one now, I'll see you back at the camp. Get the quad swept off, get it fired up. Today to me it's for the first day of Pennsylvania rifle season because yesterday was just terrible weather, but we're gonna give it hell today. Gotta warm up a few minutes, it's time to roll. Made it out here into the blind. Come on, Bucks. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and it is absolutely beautiful out here. Finch just texted me. He said when his buddy saw a four point chasing two does, they came over on my property. I think we're gonna see some deer today, fingers crossed. Hopefully we see some deer. It's going on about 9.30 a.m. and uh, like I said, it's absolutely beautiful out here. But I have not heard a single shot yet this morning. I figured there'd be some good gunfire going on this morning, but Nothing as of yet, but I always said after 10 o'clock is when it starts getting good here. But uh, I'm going to keep the camera off. But I just wanted to give a shout out to my man, Crocodile Don Dean. He sent me some pictures uh, of his brother and his cousin out on their family farms. And uh, they got some nice looking bucks. I want to share them with you now.
Man, that's with some awesome looking bucks and the turkey's pretty damn nice too, buddy. But uh, the crocodile kind of let me know that he hasn't been getting to do a whole lot of hunting. He did very little due to an illness he has. And I wish you the best of luck, brother. I, I'll even say a prayer for you while I'm sitting here in my blind, man. I hope everything goes good for you. I know what it's like to, you know, have some problems, you know, physically. Another one of my subscribers uh, was in my bear hunt video, Chapirdo. I've been saying a few prayers for that brother too, you know. He he has a, you know, told me he has just just a little bit of disability or you know, he's disabled. But man, I mean, we all love his sport hunting. And uh, like I said, you know, I'll say a prayer for you, my man, and uh, I really appreciate you sending in your photos. Thank you very much. Demas, I told him around noon I was going to walk back to the camp, and uh, I didn't cook breakfast this morning. I just, my back was killing me, and, and uh, but I forced myself to come out anyway, but uh, what I'm going to do is walk back to the camp, maybe get a hot lunch, and then walk back here. But i got to take my time. I've never tried to walk from here all the way back to the camp yet. Uh, I'm going to leave the four-wheeler where it's at and just walk it, and hopefully I make it and everything goes good, but deer don't seem to be moving there's no shooting I mean whatsoever so maybe I'll bump one on the way back to the towards the camp or something I mean you just never know so I guess I'll see you back at the camp I just made it down here to where my blind was in archery season I'm gonna walk over there something I want to tell you guys well as you can see I made it to the pine tree where my blind used to be in archery season and I've made this walk quite a few times, but uh, it's pretty emotional for me. Because this is probably the furthest I've walked in five, in five months. But I accomplished a goal. And like I said, it's the furthest I've walked in five months. And I didn't fall. If you keep giving 100%, you can't help to just get better. So I keep trying every day. And hopefully I'm going to beat this damn thing, and I'm going to get better. Every D's walking the power line to meet up with me. He walk back to the camp the rest of the way with me. But I'm going to make it. Well, I'm about halfway back to the blind. As you can see behind me, the four-wheeler trail where I drove the four-wheeler in this morning that I left back there so I could walk back to camp because it was something I had to do. Uh, I could easily just cut that whole part out and never even bother to show it, but well, a lot of my subscribers like this channel because I keep it real, and that's real, man. I mean, like I said, I'm just doing the best I can, and I love this sport of hunting, and, and if things wouldn't have worked out, and went the other way for me. And it found me. My, my wife would have known the reason why I was walking back to camp instead of riding that four-wheeler. It's, it's a no-brainer. She would, she would have known the reason why I did it. So I'm heading back to the blind. We're going to see some deer this afternoon. I have not cut a single track from that blind the whole way back to camp. So where the deer are is beyond me. But let's just hope and pray one comes by for some reason. And we get a shot, I'll see at the blind. As far as you can see, straight ahead, we call that the knoll. My blind and my tree stands on the other side of that knoll. And that's as far as I'm going, and I'll make it. Getting closer to the top of that knoll. Once I get to the top of it, I'll be going down the blind. I'm not turning this back on. Well, there's a shot. You can see my four-wheeler over there. Be in the middle of your screen. I'll be riding that back to camp tonight. I made it. A 
Well, that's going to bring tonight to an end. Uh, didn't have any luck. I didn't see a single deer. I'm starting to get a little bit depressed, but we'll give her hell again in the morning and see what happens. I'll see you back at the camp. Well, if you can hear that, it's my quad running. I come out here and uh, the shifter's totally froze. I got it in neutral, but it's too cold. I can't get it to shift into gear, so I call Tiger. He's supposed to be coming. Hopefully he gives me a pull me back to camp. So after he gets that done, I'll see you at camp. That's how froze up it is. The damn froze. Hopefully it warms up before Tiger even gets here. That's what, what happens when you freeze up, I guess. You gotta get pulled on by the old Tiger. Save the day. be dragging a deer out, about a 260-pound man in a four-wheeler. Only could happen on Big Moe's hunting, fishing, and camping. Good God. It's morning three of the Pennsylvania rifle season. Uh, it's actually legal shooting time right now. I'm just leaving the camp. I'm going to walk back to my... Uh, to my blind. The only main reason I brought the quad is because I didn't feel like uh, I was going to be able to walk it. But since I walked, you know, a couple times yesterday, I made it. So I decided I'm going to do it today. Hopefully, maybe I'll see a deer walking back there. I can only hunt till about 11 o'clock today because I have to go to the neurologist just to get my results back for the uh, brainwave exam. So wish me luck. I'm heading in. Well, I made the walk back here again safe. Everything is good. We got a good, light, steady snow coming down this morning. And uh, I crossed some tracks down on the power line where my archery blind used to once be. From the camp to there, there was some tracks crossing the line. But when I made the left to cut the trail to walk all the way back here to my blind where it is now, I didn't cut a single track. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if the, maybe, maybe the bear uh, scared it out of there. You know, and that's why all these deer kind of not showing themselves all of a sudden. But speaking of the bear, the reason why I'm saying that is because uh, Vince ended up seeing a bear. And actually, he was walking down a, uh, across a hillside, happened to look to his right in the mountain world. And he spotted a bear. And he actually took a picture of it with his phone, and he sent it to me. I'm going to show that to you now. happens Vince too bad it wasn't bear season buddy but we'll give it hell again next year that's all I can say <laughs> neither one of us seem to have much left for a Pennsylvania black bear but uh, hopefully this is going to be our morning like I said I can only hunt till maybe 11 o'clock and I have to go to the the brain doctor the neurologist so I'm going to get this camera shut off I'm going to get busy hopefully this is our morning we see some horns or hell even see a deer it would be nice but hopefully we see some horns. Temperatures this morning are really cold. But if you haven't invested in one of these for your blind, you're out of your mind. It is the best investment I have ever made for a hunting supply. It keeps you very, very warm when you need it. Well, it's going on about nine o'clock and uh Temperatures are still brutally cold out here. I'm about ready to turn my heater on for a couple minutes and warm my hands up. But as you can see, I got my hat on rally cap style. But I haven't seen a single tail. I have not heard a single shot. Uh, as far as this season so far, Monday, you know, the weather was so bad that I wasn't expecting to hear very much and didn't hear. It was very minimal shooting. Yesterday was, which was Tuesday, was pretty much next to none. I mean, there might have been a couple shots, but they sound way off. Uh, and then so far today, I have not heard a single shot. I mean, with these cold temperatures, Demas didn't want to go out and sit in the cold. I talked to Vince, he was back at home, or his camp, drinking coffee. So he wasn't going out, but you know me, I'm out here. 
and I'll do whatever it takes to keep on. But hopefully before 11 o'clock, a buck shows himself. Well, it's going on about 10.30 in the morning. I just shut the heater off to cool, cool down because i got to carry it back to the camp. Um, everybody knows that I have to go back to the neurologist here at 4 o'clock to find out the, the results of my brain scan, which I'm guessing is going to come back as somewhat normal anyway. I mean, I'm not going to say it's 100% normal, but it's got to be somewhat close. They're going to let me drive. So, uh, a lot of you guys had mentioned in your comments about my heart and kind of wanted a little bit of an update so I'm just going to give you a real quick update because I said I would. Um, I did an EKG test and I did a stress test and both surprisingly came back 100% normal. Now that heart monitor I wore showed my, my heartbeat was screwed up. I had some, some form of irregular heartbeat. So the cardiologist to play it safe decided to send me to Pittsburgh Allegheny General Hospital to have a heart catheterization done and uh, believe me when I tell you that ain't very fun to do but I did have it done and I remember the surgeon coming over and he, me and him was talking and, and he had said that what he felt was wrong with me is not a plot a pl uh, not a clog in the artery because I didn't need any stents or anything like that he felt that it was from taking such trauma to my heart area he said that uh it's kind of like a professional baseball player, you know, the catcher. He has to wear a chest protector so the ball doesn't hit him in the heart. And if it does, it protects him. Well, of course, I wasn't wearing no chest protector. I mean, I busted my sternum. I busted 11 ribs and multiple other bones. And uh, he said I took such a, a hard hit. Plus, you know, I mean, they're saying I actually died at some point. I mean, I was brought to back to life and everything, but it threw off my heart rhythm. So they're sending me back to the cardiologist. I go back to see him in December. And as far as I really know what the next step is, as far as, far as what I was told, uh, they're going to send me to a specialist that deals with the electrical parts of your heart. Now, if that just means that they're going to shock it to try to get it back to beating right, I really don't know. I don't know if I'll need a pacemaker. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm not going to sit at home and feel sorry for myself every day. I'm still gonna hunt, I'm still gonna camp, and I'm gonna do the best I can to keep going you know, every day and, and just giving 100% with my therapy. Uh, my therapist, you know, until things kind of get straightened around a little bit more, they're kind of giving me a little bit of a break because of the heart issues. But I'm giving myself my own physical therapy because I'm out here and I'm pushing myself to do some walking and do some hunting and, and maybe a lot of people might say, you know what, you need to sit home and do nothing. Well, I hate to say it, but I don't think there's any good outcome of sitting at home and uh, feeling sorry for yourself, man. I think, I think the best medicine is to get up and live day to day, and that's, that's all we can do. And uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update, and I just wanted to tell you guys thank you from the bottom of my heart for... Uh, you know, for the uplifting messages, I appreciate it. Thank you again. Well, I gotta head home, gotta be at the neurologist for four o'clock, so that's gonna bring this one to an end. But I am gonna keep coming back up on Friday, so there will be definitely a part two to this video. Doe hunting starts on Saturday, so our plan is to give it hell, but man, it's been terrible. We haven't had much luck of seeing anything around here, not even tracks. So we'll see what part two brings, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.